He's a great fighter and it calls for a massive British, British domestic dust up. And let's see what Frank says, it's all in his hands. This is Jonathan Agra for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Hamza Shira as well. That was a, a quick night's work there and a brilliant performance. Uh, did you expect it to, to only go a couple rounds? Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you, mighty Allah, uh, for the victory of out. God, it won't be possible. And the answer to your question, no, I thought I'd get him out there round eight or nine. Someone who's never been stopped for at the top level, Olympian. Um, and I just kind of dismantled him in two. When uh, you knocked him down in the first round, were you thinking just to jump on him and get him out of there? Or did you think you need to sort of uh, be patient because you never know, like you said, because of, of his pedigree, maybe he could have landed something? You know, of course, you always got to be careful. And I've learned my lessons from my, my fights before. But I just listened to Ricky. I stayed patient, done my thing, and then got him out there in the second round. Um, and I think it was uh, definitely up there with my, one of my best performances to date. What was it like in that stadium? It, it, it looks good out there. Amazing. It was amazing. Listen, if you watch the ring walk again, I'm there, got good goosebumps singing dancing thinking like yeah like you own the situation uh, the environment sorry and um, I was just thriving off it what message did you send to the division tonight with that performance do you think um, hopefully hopefully one that raises a few eyebrows and like okay this this man's to be taken serious um, and yeah long may it continue Frank Warren called you the British Tommy Hearns in that that's uh, quite a compliment uh, is that true it's a massive compliment. Um, I said if I achieve half or quarter of what Tommy Hearns achieved, I'd be a very, very happy man. Um, it's, a, it's a great compliment, but like I said, it comes with a lot, a lot of pressure. Who do you want next in an ideal world? Anyone, anyone, listen, anyone. Um, I'm no, I don't really call names like that. I don't really call names. If anyone wants to call my name, so be it. Sign a contract, let's get in the ring, let's have a fight. I know uh, Denzel Bentley keeps getting mentioned. Is that uh, a fight you, you think could happen next, or is it better to have that down the line? No, of course, it's a, it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Um, he's a great fighter, and it calls for a massive British, British domestic dust up. And let's see what Frank says, it's all in his hands. And uh, can I, uh, can you just uh, talk to me about uh, Justin Bieber being in yeah. your camp? What was that all about? No, it was, um, he trains with Ricky, so um, just by chance on the last day he walked in the gym, he wanted someone to spar, volunteered, helped him out a bit. Jordan. Yeah, done three rounds of him. Um, and uh, it was just a little, just a, I was just blocking and moving around. Uh, but yeah, no, listen, he's got hands, he's got hands for someone who you think is just a singer and a sweet boy, he, he, he can fight. Has he been on the phone congratulating you yet? Uh, I d hopefully he will, hopefully he will. Um, whether he remembers me, I don't know, let's see. Hamza, oh, <laughs> uh, great performance and uh, we'll catch you soon. Cheers. Congratulations. Thank you very much, thank you. Cheers.